on the beat. Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's YouTube video is going to be me reacting um, to old photos of mine, old outfits of mine and just kind of see what we think of them together. Like people always ask me on Instagram, oh did you always have like nice outfits? No. No, I did not. If you go back, like how many pictures do I have? I have 40,000 pictures in my camera roll. Surely some we can find some embarrassing outfits, embarrassing makeup and just rate or hate them together. Um, also as well, I did my makeup a bit differently today. I actually do have foundation on. I normally just do bronzer, but um, I'm kind of feeling myself today if I don't lie. I just seen a girl on TikTok um, wearing this outfit that I had. Her hair like crimped with glasses and big gold hoops. And I was just like, I have that outfit, let me put it together. And I just thought it'd be cute for a YouTube video. I'll show you the full outfit. Um, so basically, I just love this belly bear. I just love the full length of it. Um, but this is my outfit kind of feeling myself and not gonna lie but if you hear a lot of rattling through this video it is my earrings and I apologize for that probably will have to end up taking them out for the video but whatever so the glasses sheen if with Jade London um earrings sheen as well um yeah I'm kind of feeling my makeup as well I didn't do like the if you see my hairline I got the root touch up so it's just too lazy, lazy to dye my roots. I'm just going to try and keep using that as much as I can because hopefully when lockdown's over in the next month or whatever, hopefully manifesting it, I need a new hair colour. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I'm just sick of the dark brown. I'm sick of the streaks. I just want to be lighter for summer. I just want that cute vibes, the cute summer vibes. So I'm trying not to touch or dye my full hair because um, if you know me, I box dye my hair. I do my hair myself apart from the extensions obviously but um if I go near my hair with a box hair dye I'm just gonna make it so hard for me to go light um make my hair more damaged when I get it done so I'm just trying my best to stay away from it as much as I can so I just use the rush the root touch up um I used to use the root touch up as my freckles if you follow me ages but I just use an eyebrow pencil today and I just did a little dot because I was too lazy I was so scared like if you if you do the root touch up as freckles you will know that it either turns out unreal or horrendous like horrendous like my my hairline is already bad enough but um we'll get on with it also if you're wondering why luke's not in the videos as much much lately it's because he actually got a job well he always had a job but um this job has a bit more longer hours so he's like it's kind of like full time like nine to five monday to friday so um but this the video after this one that you see he'll be in it because we're filming today is wednesday on saturday we're filming a video together i'm not going to let you know you can go and check yourselves when it's out but um yeah luke will be back in the video soon i promise okay let's get into the video i'm gonna go find some embarrassing pictures some old outfits bad makeup whatever really stands out to me and we're gonna rate or hate them together compare them you know give our opinions on them give it a rate out of 10 you know the vibes Oh Jesus. Jesus Christ. Some of these outfits, some of these hair colours, there's a lot of them. Is anyone else like obsessed with this Ariana Grande, I can't say a promiscuous and mode of remix on TikTok. I just can't stop listening to it. Listen to it. It's not to be before I lead you, tell me what's your motive. Okay, I gotta turn that off before I get copyrighted, but you get the vibes. I'm literally, I... When, when I'm scrolling here looking for pictures, it's all that's in my head. <laughs> like, whoever made that remix, you literally went fire. Like, there's no need for how good they are. Jesus Christ, I found a few photos. Give me a minute. Okay, so I'm just after going through my camera roll there and finding a load of photos. We're just going to discuss about them, rate them, talk about them, and yeah. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first picture is of me when I was really young. Um, I was obsessed with my... Uh, I was obsessed with Monster High dolls growing up. Literally, if you ask anyone I was in primary school with, I had at least 60 of them, maybe. I had so many. That's all I'd spend my money on. If I got any bit of... Like, they weren't that expensive for dolls back in the day. I think they were about 10, 15 euro. So I'd spend, like, keep all my savings and buy one all the time. That's the only thing I spent my money on. Um, and I tried to do my makeup like one of them. The makeup is horrendous. I'm pretty sure I just used eyeshadow all over my face. The eyeliner, you know, I was about 10 
will give give myself some credit. Lipstick all over my teeth. Jesus. This, it's cute, like it's funny, but it's obviously not great. It's not good at all. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah. This one, um, I actually borrowed this skirt off someone. The skirt is cute. The outfit idea is cute. Remember those shell necklaces that re were really in at the time? They're cute as well. Um, the green iPhone 5C. The hair, like the curls, they're not even brushed out. Like they're just ringlets. And the front piece is, oh, I didn't really, like my hair was just a mess at that time. Like I had such uneven hair proportions everywhere. The makeup was awful. The outfit is cute for the time. I'd literally give this maybe a four, mainly because it was on me. Oh my God. I'll never forget this. This was a day I had one of my friends, cause or my friend's sister's communion maybe, something like that, and I wore this outfit. I actually took the day off school because a lot of girls in school were being mean to me and I didn't go to school because I was upset about it. Um, my mum and dad gave me the day off and I was meant to go to school before the communion but I actually didn't. And the outfit was Topshop, I'm pretty sure for this jeans and top it was like 90 euro. Topshop, RIP Topshop now because of Covid, but um, price is ridiculous. That outfit is basic like, as you can see if you zoom in like my fat rolls are coming over because I tried to bait myself into a pair of jeans that didn't fit me. Um, yeah, I just wasn't happy with my weight then. Um, makeup was bad, hair, oh, like I'm not going to be so hard on myself, but it wasn't great. I'll make, maybe give it a four, three, no. No, whoever told me, I don't think I wore this anywhere, I think I was just trying to get pictures. This photo was actually before the ones that I just showed you in the last. None of these photos are in order, they're just kind of random to be honest, but no no that outfit was not flattering for my body i look the hair started like here and was all the way over i'd give this a two no the outfit's not flattering on me at all no and i i was just a lot bigger than that than i am now this one i actually love and i still love to this day i just think it was when i started like sorting out my body um the white on tan skin just looked good with the white shoes with the socks and the shirt over it um my hair was kind of ginger at this point now to be fair because i tr i wanted to dye like the front two pieces of my hair when i was in um how many years ago was this i say this was fourth year third year third year yeah it was third year um i wanted to dye the front pieces of my hair and i did and then i hated it so i dyed it back ginger um i didn't mean to dye ginger i got deals box dye and i just made my hair ginger but i'm not gonna talk about it don't buy box dye from deals don't do it yourself um, but you know, I was tanned, I got my nails done, I had cute glasses, I think I look cute. So I give myself a nine there. This one, it's when I started, I was actually getting with Luke, and Luke um, always made me feel better about myself. He, when me, when me and Luke first got with each other, I was very not confident, didn't, wasn't obsessed with myself. Not that I'm obsessed with myself now, I just mean I, I wasn't like self-love and all that stuff. But um when I got with Luke I started losing a lot of weight I started loving myself more dressing better and he really pushed me to be the person that I am so I love looking back at like this stage of my life because it's when Luke started pushing me to my like best ability do you know he, I'd be sad about my weight or about, about the way I dress and he was like well why don't you push yourself and change and make it better like instead of sitting there feeling sorry for myself about things that I could change I just went and changed them because of him being able to push me so forever grateful for him for that um, probably wouldn't be where I was if I wasn't for Luke. I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube. I would probably wouldn't be doing Instagram. I probably wouldn't be dressing the way I want. So he definitely boosted my confidence up. So I love looking back in pictures during this stage because it was just little old Caitlin like progressing into the person I am. But um, love my hair there. I used to wear Love Lisa's hair extensions, and to be fair, they were unreal. They blended perfectly. They probably are the same ones, but yeah, obsessed. Um, give this a nine out of ten. Pretty cute. Um, as you can see, I started losing a lot of weight there. Um, and I started dressing better, wearing Nike 95s, you go girl, and um, yeah. This one, Reeboks, fake Michael Kors, Adidas Bomber. I hate when I used to tuck my tops into my jeans with a belt, like I just really don't like it. Why did I do that? But um, hate the belt. You know what, I was trying to dress better, so I'll give myself a seven, and plus I love my hair color over there. <sighs> This one, I think this bomber would actually be really cute on me right now. 
I was actually stupid with one of my friends at the time and um, we went to earn the like what, what, what type of material would you call it like ja rain jacket material like windbreaker we earned it because it was wrinkly it came from I got it on our Urban Outfitters um put a hole straight to it straight through the front of it I think right now because that kind of look is kind of in it would be really cute but other than that I give it a 9 out of 10 it's cute enough this one this is when me and baby Luke and baby Caitlin, um, we went to la our first concert together. We went to Longitude, there was a festival, um, loved my outfit then. I literally don't think I ever got so much comp compliments on an outfit when I was in up in Dublin. So many people telling me they loved it. One thing is my extensions did not blend whatsoever. If you were walking behind me, I'm so sorry if you saw me at Longitude, generally because if you just even zoom in, they d there was just a strip. I had my hair half up, half down like this, but the clips were just in here. They did not blend. You could see them, but I was like, I don't care. You can only see the front of my face in pictures. Go on, girl, you mad joke, like, but no. The jumpsuit was actually dated in London. I bought it off a girl on Instagram who I'm actually very close with, Louisa Baxter. Um, I bought this from her literally about four years ago. Now we both actually work for Elsie and Fred, and we're both very good friends. We both um have very similar tastes and styles so we're always texting and stuff but it's just crazy how our friendship started from me texting her on Depop buying a Jade London jumpsuit off her and then we both work with the same brand we both text each other all the time and it's just mad so anyways I love this picture of me and Luke I think we both look so cute in it and it was just really really good memory and I love that summer for us hopefully we can go to concerts and festivals soon oh my god I want a Ferrari Rocher so bad I get sidetracked very easy <laughs> just need a fair wash eh? Luke got me these for Valentine's Day. I'm obsessed. Before I get back into the video, if you have not got this book, you swear I'm a brand ambassador for this book. I'm not. I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm not getting done brand. I'm halfway through it already. Can't wait to read more. I'm halfway through it in two days. If you have not read this book, if you've not got this book, please do get it. Oh my god, my mind is like so much opened wider. It's all about feminism, about breakups, about like beauty standards, about toxic relationships, toxic friendships, like just, and now, what's the word? Like familiar, familiarizing yourself with toxic traits in friendships and in yourself, of course, and just making yourself a better person. And I'm literally obsessed with it. Um, got on Urban Outfitters, 13 pound, I think it was down to 10 euro though. Um, obsessed, if you have not read this, if you want to get it, please do and just, it will literally open your mind, so I just can't wait to finish this video so I can go read it. I need a for a rush day. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I actually only have a few more outfits um, to go through, pictures, so let's go. Okay, so this one, this is where I took it too far with my blonde hair. I literally had the most perfect light brown blondy hair, and I just bleached my full head and ruined it. Like, it was so dead, it wasn't alive. I hate the vans, hate my makeup. It's, it's not a bad picture. It's not a bad picture, I just know that I personally started to ruin my hair here, so I'll give it a maybe a 6. This outfit, I was obsessed with it. Jade London jumpsuit, I used to be obsessed with them, I just think they were very flattering on, on my body. I had braids at the time, I was only 15 at the time, it was only 3-4 years ago. Um, obviously now it's not really respectable to get them anymore. I don't think it was at the time either, but I wasn't doing Instagram or anything like that. Um, it was just kind of, I really liked them, but right now, obviously, I wouldn't get them anymore because I have educated myself on them a bit more, but at the time, they were really cute. Nobody ever said anything to me. The girl was actually black who'd done them, and she loved doing them for me, and all of her friends loved them on me, but I understand I probably wouldn't get them now anymore because I do, I've educated myself, obviously, the black right movements all during 2020. Um, yeah obviously wouldn't get them now but they were really cute and I missed them they were gorgeous I was obsessed with them and I loved the culture behind it this was actually an outfit that I wore on holidays obsessed with this jumpsuit I sold it um it was a unitard actually sorry I wore it on holidays and I remember sitting myself looking myself in the mirror during this holiday and was like you're up in your Instagram you have all these outfits you can do it this was in 2019 when I started doing my Instagram page taking pictures more seriously and look where I am I'm that didn't make sense. Look where I am now. My English is awful. Luke actually said to me the other day, I think what is wrong with me is I have all these thoughts and words in my mind and my mouth just doesn't keep up with my head if I just enough. So I like see right just down there. I blend words together. So my thoughts just can't keep up. 
my mind. This was me actually at Longitude. Um, loved the outfit. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, there were so many nice girls that were coming up to me and being like, oh, I love your outfit. Because I was with a group of boys. I wasn't with a group of boys. I was with Luke, his friend, and his other friend. And then sometimes we would go over to Luke's other friends. But um, obsessed with this outfit. So many girls were coming over to me. Oh, do you want me to take pictures for you? Whatever. And Luke took this one, but another girl actually took a load of pictures of me. She was like, that outfit is too fire not to take pictures. And I was like, you know what? I love girls like that. This one is the last one. Um, it's actually when I dyed my hair dark. I felt like the baddest bitch going into this party. Um, the heels, the dress, the Louis Vuitton bag, the dark hair. Just love absolutely everything about this outfit. 10 out of 10. Love it. And all my long two ones were 10 out of 10 as well. I don't think I rated them. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed me rating, going back on old pictures. Sometimes it's kind of nice to feel when you look at Instagrammers and just realise that they didn't wake up with all these outfits. You know, it takes a lot of time, a lot of planning to get where you want. So if anyone wants to start doing Instagram or whatever, whatever YouTube, blah, 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 um, don't take it as like, people don't wake up famous. Molly May didn't wake up who she was. All these Instagrammers didn't wake up and just have this following, have these nice clothes. Okay, sorry, I'm back. My camera overheated um, and Olivia Neal posted her video. Um, I just got a notification on my phone, so I was like, goodbye, my own video. I gotta watch this. But um, anyways, I'm just gonna do my outro now. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any recommendations of what more videos you want to see, etc., just let me know. A lot of people text me and I have some good ones coming soon. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.